Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Lizzie Golub. I'm a small business owner with a um, business called Lit by the Sea. I make shirts, hoodies, um, mugs, tumblers, small resin things. Last year, I got into 3D printing. It has been so cool, such a journey. So, come on over to my 3D printer and I will show you what I have made. Um, last year, I made an advent ball. I downloaded it from Thingiverse, the file, and this is the blank advent ball. As you can see, it's multiple sided, it does have a base, and then this year I decided to print red doors for it. So I'm going to show you what it all looks like. I actually can take this off. I have a Snap Maker um, F250. And this was able to print all the doors on the whole build, build plate, which is really exciting that I didn't have to do them individually. So this is what they look like on the build plate. You'll see all this around here. This is called the brim. I built it with a brim so it would be more stable. Sometimes it does it with a skirt around, but this does a brim where it's like a bottom layer. I'm going to show you how to remove this off of the build plate now. What you're going to need is a tool. And this is like a little scraper knife. And I'm going to get under the brim and just kind of pry it up. Sometimes you might have to flex the build plate to release it like this. You're not going to break it. It's magnetic, it goes right on top of your printer. But we're gonna pop these bad boys off and I'll show you how they fit on the advent ball. I made this for my son, he really loved it last year. We put some money and candy in it and um, I decided to do it for him again this year. So I'm gonna pry off what I can and the numbers are actually separating as I'm prying it off, which is totally fine if they separate from the brim because that's what we're going to have to do anyways. So I'm just scraping under here, lifting it up, and you can hear it popping up. Zoom in a little bit so you can see my work. Just scrape it under here and pop it up. Some of the pieces are coming off together. That's totally fine. I have found if you get it off the build plate while the build plate is still warm, it is easier. I came home and this was finished printing. I was so excited. It took about, I don't know, 20 to 22 hours to print all of this. I did it overnight, I left to do a few errands, and I came back, it was all finished, I was so excited. So, once you got them all pried off, you're going to separate it from the brim, and I'll show you how to do that. Separate out your extra parts, and then it will fit on the advent ball, and it's pretty cool. Okay, all off the build plate, kind of just scrape your extra residue off the build plate. You can clean it with some rubbing alcohol if you want. Now, I have all of these pieces that I need to break apart. So, let's get to it. The brim is usually pretty fairly easy to break apart because it's not like a real true layer layer it's just a very fine layer um grab my trash can and just go ahead and get to town and you're just gonna peel around your numbers the extra material okay there's one door i'm gonna do a couple and then we'll try to pop them onto the ball I'm not going to put the ball all together right now. I have to get my stuff 
to fill it up with for tonight. Because it is December 1st. How exciting. This year flew by though. I really feel like it's been a really quick year with everything. Sometimes what you might have to do is take an X-Acto knife to get your extra off. If it won't fit in the advent ball, that's what I suggest. But let's go ahead and take a door, number 17. And you can see I'm just going to click it, pop it right in there. And then it pulls right out. So mini doors on the advent ball. You're going to do it all around. I like to spread out the doors so they're not in number order. My kid has to look around for what door number he's doing that night. Um, if you want one, let me know. I can make you a custom colored one and uh, get it sent out to you. So I'm going to keep working at these doors and getting my ball ready to give to my kid tonight. And I appreciate you guys watching. If you uh, like my channel, please follow, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for next time. Have a great day. Bye.